welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's a new year, so new hair. So I cut off about four inches and I cut it in a long horseshoe shape. I found a hairstylist close to me who researched it and um, totally did a great job. Right now it's a total mess, so just ignore that. I'm just spraying it with some styling starch. I'm going to do a loose vintage wave just to show you what it looks like and combing through with my wide tooth coconut infused comb. I will have the link to everything I'm using um, down below in case you're interested or you like any of the tools and products I'm using. Um, so yeah, I decided to cut off four inches. I wanted a little change and my hair was super long, like to my waist, past my waist. And so now my hair looks a lot thicker. So now I'm just figuring out how to style it and getting used to it because I was so used to that blanket. So I'm going to section my hair in two just so it'll be easier to work with. And um, I'm combing through, make sure I got no knots. The styling starch sometimes creates knots because it starts to cling. I didn't put a ton of starch in there, so the wave will be looser. But as you can see, my hair is kind of bushy straight right now. And so I'm going to take one inch sections on both sides. And I'm going to use a spiral curling iron. And the spiral curling iron is about one inch thick. And I'm going to wrap around the curling iron all the way around in the same direction, clip it, and the heat will mold it, and then that will give me my loose big waves. So I hope you like the video, um, and I'm going to start now with the back section, which I find always the hardest, so I'm always stumbling around to do that. And as you can see, I'm holding it down, and I'm going over and under. So all my curls should be more under than they are kicked out. Um, and I do the same direction all the way around, and that's really important. So I'm only holding it for a few seconds. Um, that curling iron has like a little clip part, but it doesn't really hold anything, so I don't know what it's for. And then as you can see, I just let it drop, and I got a lot of hair still, so I sometimes, it's a mess, so I'm just taking it section by section, and then I curl it up, and I let the heat mold it. And I'm just using metal double prong clips, and I'm just doing the ends, so I'm not really worried about clipping it right to my head. I don't really need to do that. <clears throat> I'm looking more to get the wave lower down or just on the side. So, and then we're going to go around again. That piece was pretty thick. You can take thinner pieces. I'm trying to take one inch pieces. So gauge it. Um, it's, you know, your hair is different. And I got this curling iron. It's an unplugged uh, spiral curling iron, about a one inch. And that was about, I think, 16 bucks. So it wasn't much at all. Um, somewhere around there. So I'm just holding it for a second. I always wear a glove because my hands, I'm so clumsy, I just burn my fingers quite easily. So I am going to just let that drop. And you can see the wave in it. And I could just let it, um, leave it like that and comb through it, but I want to try and get a little bit more hold in it. And I'm just playing around too to see what works on my hair with my new cut. And the sides are slightly shorter than the back because it's got that true horse shape. shape. So um, that's also something to note. And then once again, I know it looks like a mess, but <laughs> you know, it's just an example of a real life scenario of when you're doing your hair really quickly and what you can get um, with these tools. So um, bear with me. I think I'm gonna uh, speed up the process so you aren't watching every single curl. So I'm just going to continue to go all the way around the head and I'll show you that and then the next piece where I untake all the curls from the clips, I'll speed that one up just so that um, this video is a little faster for you. And as you can see it did a really nice wave. It's a larger size wave because it's a one inch and if you like that look, this curling iron is really great for that. It's super easy to do. Once again, I'm just clipping my hair all the way around. Just that heat kind of molds it, so it helps hold the curl or the wave. So I do that little extra step. I find it helps. Um, and now the front part. This is like to me the most important section, the the side where you really see the wave. And the curling iron only has one setting, so I just turn it on. There's really no setting, so you can gauge as to how long you hold it. But as you can see, that's only a couple seconds, and we've got a gorgeous wave. And it goes pretty high up. So, and the hope is that with the horseshoe haircut, it will be tapered and we'll have a nice flow to it. And I'm not making these curls super tight or I didn't put a ton of starling starch, so this will be a looser wave. It'd be a great idea for if you're running around and you're just on the go. 
So once again, I'm going to start with the back section. I'm going to switch hands with my glove so that I don't burn myself and just flip those back. And then what I'm going to do is take the longest section as the back section, grab about one inch. I mean, that's pretty thick. You could go half of that, but let's comb it out. And I'm going to give it a whirl and I'm just going to twist around and you'll find the hair fits into the groove. And if it doesn't, don't worry about it. You can always grab that hair and recurl it. It's not a big deal. All right. And then we're going to continue and go all the way around. As you can see, we got a nice wave. I can't really see it, so that's where it gets a little awkward. And then I get kind of confused. And I mean, uh, you can take your hair and use a large clip to section it off so this exact situation doesn't happen. But um, so I kind of lost the marking of it, so I'm like, I'm just going to recurl that. Um, I'm going to try and grab it again. And there we go. I'm going over top, wrapping around, and I got it a little bit too high, but don't worry about it. It's really the final look and effect that matters. Okay, so there we go, you've got the wave. So now I'm gonna wrap that up. And I don't go in any particular direction, I just wrap it up in a curl and clip it. Oh, sorry, little ends came out. Today is an off day for me, I don't know. So I'm just going to bunch those ends up and try and get them in. So I'm just going to do a nicer little wrap on that curl. Get some of those strands out. Um, I try to go in the direction of the curl. Sometimes I forget. So as long as that heat is molding it, and as you can see, it's just not my day today. So we're going to try one more time. And if you have to, use two clips. Sometimes I use two clips. I'm just a little slow today, getting back into the swing of things, it being January. All right, there we go. Oh, that piece does not want to cooperate. Okay, once in a while you get those little strands. So I'm taking a smaller piece, approximately one inch, a little smaller than the last one. And I'm trying to wrap it around that curling iron. It's usually really easy. Sometimes it fits right into the grooves and sometimes it goes a little wider. Okay, so that'll give you an idea of how to wrap your hair around it. And perhaps you'll have better luck than me today, but it does do a wave, even though I'm kind of botching it up and going kind of slow and mixing my hair up. So rest assured, this curling iron does work, so that's great. And I used minimal styling starch, so that's great. And now this is just a little extra step. You don't have to do it, but I find clipping it molds the hair and just kind of holds the, the wave a little longer. But you can experiment and see what works for your hair. All right, so I'm going to grab... We got a couple more sections to do. And I just wanted to comb through this just because the styling starch sometimes creates clumps. So that's an idea for you. And I'm not worrying too much if it fits into the grooves as I wrap the hair. I'm just curling it. That heat's going to curl it. As you saw before, it's still shaping it into that nice, really pretty large wave. This is also a great curling iron if you want to do beach waves and kind of that bedhead look. But today we're doing it for a vintage and doing a vintage, more sculpted look. Um, probably not as sculpted as some of the pictures I'll show you, but um, this is definitely a, a cool tool and I loved it. All right, so now enough of that. We're going to do the last section and then I will speed up the next part so I don't drive you nuts explaining every little detail unless you want that. All right, there we go. The last final section, the most important, the front. And I'm going to just let you see what it looks like when I take it out. And don't worry about the frizz on the top of the hair. You will smooth that out later on. There we go. And you can see it did a nice big wave. So if you don't overthink it and you just and you aren't doing a video, you can just easily kind of go do your whole head. There we go. I missed one little piece. So I'll probably curl that little piece and then just kind of tuck it away and it'll blend in in the end. So no stress, I mean, it's super easy and you can still get the results you want. All right, okay, hang tight. All right, so we're back again and just for your sanity, I'm speeding this up. As you see, I'm undoing all the curls. I'm taking a wide tooth comb and you can see that beautiful wave. Now I'm taking large size clips and sectioning the whole hair and going front and back and spraying it and just like accentuating those waves to kind of give it a little bit more depth. You don't have to do this, but I think it's a step that's worth it if you really want to get that wave look. All right, and then I'm just slowly starting to smooth down the top, spray it down. Here we go, here's the other side, and you can see that beautiful U horseshoe shape. I'm so happy with this haircut. 
Um, and there you go. And I'm just clipping it, spreading out the, that little wave to give it a um, little drama. And then using the comb to get some of those top frizzies. And then I'll go back in with a the pomade. There we go. So this is a looser curl. Then um, I'll show you a picture of a tighter curl I did the day before. But same curling iron, just less styling starch and just more of a fluid wave. So this is great if you're running around in an everyday look. So I hope you like it. And I was pretty happy with it. I'm super happy with the cut. The long horseshoe cut really helped. And there we go. And there's just a little side profile so you can really see that wave. It's a large wave. Okay, so here are the pictures from the day before where I did the exact same techniques, but I did left the curls in longer. It clipped and I used more styling solution and I got a way more sculpted kind of look. So I just wanted to show you that. So thank you for watching. Thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Bye-bye.